All right, you guys, happy Wednesday. Good morning. Coach Adrian here, ready to go. Ready to do some formal dress up gymnastics today. <sighs> Got on the uh, jacket here. Got on the white tie. My dad was an architect and he always wore a white tie. So I've got his white tie today. So, got that there. And I've got the extremely bright swimsuit that wife Margaret got me. Because um, I know a lot of your parents look like this these days. They're all dressed up up top, wearing the swimsuit down below when they do their video calls. So, I thought I'd wear the uniform of the day. So, at any rate. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some strength, some serious strength, some strength holds. What if all you have is a chair? Well, there's a whole bunch you can do on a chair, believe it or not. So we're going to work on a lot on a chair. You need to find a good, sturdy chair. We're going to do some of our strength there. We're going to do also some strength over on a bar, some good chin-ups, some good work on our chin-up strength, do all that. And then we're going to go through our whole routines at the end, okay? All right, let's get started. We got our good, sturdy chair. Boom! Here we go. We're going to start off, we're going to work on our supports and our tuck position, our good support tuck position. We're going to do three of them, all right? And we're going to do them for 10 seconds each. We're going to get super mega strong today. Here we go. First support tuck position for 10 seconds. On our marks, get set, and go. Hold it up there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, let's rest it for a second, catch our breath. We got two more of those to do. I tell you what, it's a funny thing. Yeah, Dad always, he loved to wear the colored shirt, always the white, pure white necktie, and then the suit to work. He always looked sharp. There's not a whole lot of pure white neckties out there. So I remember whenever we were, happened to be like out shopping in a mall or something, he'd always look to see if he could find a white necktie because they'd always get stains on them. Mine have little pen marks on mine. So you always have to find new ties, but there aren't a lot of white neckties out there. All right, at any rate, that was always a fun part. Okay, here we go. Number two, on your marks, get set and go. Hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ah, oh, good. That was excellent. So these swim shorts, wife Margaret bought them for me. And I have such a habit of calling wife Margaret, wife Margaret, because when I was a lawyer and I was wearing suits like this, my boss was named Margaret. So I had boss Margaret and wife Margaret. So I always got used to calling wife Margaret, wife Margaret, which is kind of weird, but you know, there you go. So it's wife Margaret. So she bought me these nice swim shorts, which are very, very bright. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number three, on your marks, get set. And go. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, good. It's good support tuck positions. Very good for building that strength in the core. Okay, next one we're going to do. We're going to do three of them. We're just going to do five seconds each. We're going to do our L position, trying to hold our legs straight, straight out, as straight out as we can. Remember, horizontal is straight out. Straight up is vertical, straight out is horizontal. Our two big positions that we're working on in gymnastics, usually either horizontal or vertical. All right, here we go. Try to hold it straight out, feet together, toes pointed. Good L position. On your marks, get set and go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Depending on your chair, you're probably not gonna be able to hold a perfect L position. You might be back against the chair, but We'll hold it as high as we can, and we'll try to get that good hold for five seconds in there, okay? Here we go, we've caught our breath. Set number two, L position, five seconds. On our marks, get set, and go. Holding out, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Woo-wee! All right, got our chair today. We can do our gymnastics anywhere. If all you got is a chair, you can still do some gymnastics, which reminds me, grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. We used to love to go on road trips, go on road trips everywhere. But I was a gymnast, so I wanted to keep working out. So I was doing all kinds of gymnastics that I could do in the back seat of the car, in the passenger seat of the car, in the front seat of the car. 
not a lot. Of, <laughs> there's a lot of different things you can do in terms of strength training in the car. I remember doing that on those road trips. We take road trips everywhere. Woo! That was fun. All right, here we go. L position. One more time. Five seconds. On your marks. Get set and go. Hold on in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Okay. Here's one more little piece of strength we can do. We're going to do three of these. We're going to do it for five seconds each again. We're going to do our straddle L position. Now, depending on how big your chair is, you might be able to hold and hold your legs out in your straddle L position, depending on the size of your chair. For me, for this chair, I'm going to face backwards. I'm going to face this way. Put my hands here. I'm going to hold my legs out straight in my good straddle L position, okay? On our marks, get set, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Just like that, okay? Now, ideally, I can't quite do it with my chair. Ideally, what we'd like to have is our legs straight out horizontal in our straddle L position. So when we're on our parallel bars or our balance beam, we'll be able to hold legs straight out or even flat on the floor and hold legs straight out, okay? Can't quite do it here on this chair, but we'll hold it as high as we can. We got two more of the straddle L's. Here we go. On our marks, get set, and go. Hold in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Whew. Gonna loosen up the old necktie here so I can take a breath. <sighs> Haven't worn these fancy shirts for a while since I was a lawyer, which is about seven years ago. The neck has gotten just a little tighter, a little tighter than it used to be. These things happen. Okay, here we go. One more time. Here we go. Hold it five seconds. On your marks, get set, and go. Hold it five, four, three, two, one, zero. There we go, holding a good straddle L position. All right. Kids, don't try this at home. But here's a little example of when you keep practicing your handstands, eventually your hands get to be like your feet. And you can kind of do a handstand everywhere, just like you could stand everywhere. So you think to yourself, can I stand up like this? Yeah, I can stand up like that on my feet. Well, eventually, after you practice a really long time, we can do it on our hands, too. Here we go. Do my handstand on the chair. Don't do this at home. Parents, don't let your kids do this at home. All right, I'm just going to show you what you can do eventually on your handstand. So you can kick it up and hold and balance in the good handstand. There we go. All the way up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Handstand on the chair. All right. You do a handstand just about everywhere. Eventually your hands get to feel just like your feet. It get, gets a little bit more automatic on the handstand. All right, just wanted to have some fun with the chair there. Okay, let's move ourselves over. Let's find whatever we have for our bar. It could be, I've got my parallel bars here, so I've got the bar. It could be our broomstick in between the chairs again. We could, um, we could have that. You, some of you guys might have a weight bench with the bar on the back. Some of you guys might have an actual chin-up bar. Some of you guys might have a tree out front that has a nice branch, okay? We've got to find our bar, We've got to do our chin-up strength and our chin-up holds. We're going to work through those and then we're going to go knock out some of our whole routines in a little bit, okay? All right, let's do it. Let's work on those chin-ups first, okay? Let's put our hands out here. Let's start today with our hands in reverse grip like this and our legs out straight and we're going to pull our, ch our chest up to the bar. One, we're going to do it five times. Two, three, four, five. Good. Those five good chin-ups. Okay, we're going to do two more sets of that. We're going to do five in each set. The next set, we're going to have our hands around in our normal grip, just like this. Okay, our forward grip, normal grip. Move my block back a little bit. Remember, again, trying to keep our body nice and straight. Try to pull our chest up to the bar, body all the way straight as we do these good chin-ups, okay? Here we go. Got a normal grip here. Try to keep my body straight. One, two, three, four, five, all the way up there. Good on those chin-ups. That's good. We have those nice feet up a little bit on something. 
and a good pull to try to get all the way up there. Now, this last set you can do again, just what we just did, or if you have a parent or brother or sister there to help you, you can do your good hold chin-ups on the bar if you've got enough space for that, okay? So let's do that for our last set. Either put your feet up again, or if you have someone to help you, let's try the full chin-ups all the way up and down, okay? Getting our chin all the way up over that bar. And if the bar is a little low, we can bend our legs so we don't hit the ground, okay? Here we go, five chin-ups. Hands either way, here we go. Pulling it up, one, good, two, there we go, three, there we go, four, there we go, five. Ooh, that good chin up. You guys, I remember growing up at school, we would do the presidential physical fitness test. And then also all the kids would be doing all their strength. And depending upon what sports they played, they had different types of strength. But you always knew who the gymnasts were because the gymnasts could do the other strength, but they could do their chin-ups and they could do their chin-up hold forever because gymnastics, man, that's one of the types of strength that gymnasts particularly are so strong at is pulling their body up over that bar. Got to be super strong in the chin-ups. You always knew who the gymnasts were doing that physical fitness test because they'd be rocking those chin-ups up and down and up and down and up and down. That was always a lot of fun. All right, here we go, you guys. Now, let's do our chin-up hold positions. We're gonna start, we're gonna do our chin-up tuck hold. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. We're gonna do three of them. And then we're gonna do our chin-up L position. Five seconds, doing three of them, okay? Here we go, hold in 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hoo-wee. Very good. We had a little chin-up hold contest on our competitive team. And I think Natalie, Natalie Ailman won it. And I think she had a chin-up was for about 110 seconds. I think that's what she held her chin up hold for, 110 seconds in her chin up hold. Whew, that's almost two minutes in a chin up hold. That is something right there. All right, let's do it again, here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Hold it 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. That's good, we're gonna rest it. Then we're gonna do one more in just a second, one more chin-up hold. I do chin-up holds with the kids on the competitive teams when we do our chin-ups. But see, now that I'm getting older, the bar starts to shake a lot. Well, actually, I start to shake a lot and that makes the bar shake a lot. And then the kids are like, why is the bar shaking so much, Coach Adrian? And I'm like, be quiet, kids, stop shaking the bar. I try to blame them, but actually it's me, I'm shaking the bar. The bar shakes now for me when I try to do my chin-up holds. All right, here we go, one more time. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds, on your marks, get set, and go. Hold it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good, we'll rest in a second. Okay, next strength hold that we're gonna do. Our chin up and our L position, our good pike, our L position, okay? Again, trying to hold horizontal, straight out. Got to squeeze those legs to keep them straight. Got to point our toes. Got to keep our feet together, okay? Legs straight, feet together, toes pointed. All right, here we go. Gonna hold this five seconds with the legs straight out in the L position. On our marks, get set, and go. Hold it five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good, that was a good one. Catch our breath just a second. Whew. These are good. We're doing lots of good strength today, you guys. Those good support tuck positions, chin up L positions. That's so good, so good. Man, here we go. All right, let's get this one straight out, legs straight out. Set number two, here we go. Chin up on your marks, get set and go. Hold it up, five, four, three, 
two, one, zero. Whew. Rest it there. We got one more. We got our last set of these. And then we're gonna go through and we're gonna knock out some of our whole routines because Saturday, this Saturday is our Olympic day. And we gotta per perform our routine in front of our family and friends, in front of the video. So, gotta practice those whole routines so I can do that performance this Saturday. All right, last one. Boom, let's do it. Five more seconds, here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Pulling it up there. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. All right, you guys. We worked a bunch of those sets of those support positions, those chin-ups, those chin-up holds, all those things. That was awesome. Let's go get some whole routines. Here we go. We'll move this back under. Boom. We're going to come back over here. Going to get ready to roll. Do, 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 do. All right. Here we go. Whole routine. We want that good base routine with a good form, the good feet together in the first handstand. Here we go. On your marks. Get set. And go. Pull it up there. Feet together. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good sideways handstand walking. Here we go. Handstand walking. Sideways. But up. Our good basic walk down the balance beam. All the way down. Arms out tight to the sides. All the way back. Good arms tight to the sides. Good. And walks, hands and feet. Putting our pressure on our hands, making sure our hands are doing the work. Push it, push it, push it. All the way, good. Support top position, 10 seconds. Here we go. Hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. All right. Here we go up for the good chin ups. Keeping that body straight. Hands can go either way, whichever way you like. Here we go. Pull it. One, two, Three, four, five, good. Now we gotta hold that chin up, tuck position. Ready, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, good. Gonna do the flat ground work right down here. Holding up our good basic bridge. Here we go, pushing it up there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, on to the handstand. We wanna make sure we stand up nicely at the end. Stand it up, good. That full turn all the way around, good. Our nice basic cartwheel. Stand it up nicely at the end. And our run, and jump, and stick. And all the way up to finish. Ooh, that was a good one, you guys. That was a good one. All right, let's rest. Let's catch our breath for just a second. Oh, that was awesome. We're gonna do one more routine. And if we, I'm gonna show you the virtuosity routine. Remember, when we go to do our Olympic day, we do the base routine with the basic skills if we just started. And then if we're level 201, level two, we wanna add the virtuosity, add the extra elements in there. Make the routine a little bit harder if we've been doing the gymnastics a little bit longer, okay? So do our Olympic day on Saturday where your parents will help take your video so you can show your routine to your grandparents or other family or friends. That would be our Olympic day. And then on Sunday, if they want to, they can drive by the gym. You can drive by the gym and pick up your gymnastics medal. And if you want to, take a little picture out in front of the gym, up in front of the sign. All right, so the, the end of our Olympic day, get a gymnastics medal. So that's what we got going on this weekend. So we're working those good routines. All right, here we go. One more time around, practicing the good routine. Adding the pieces of virtuosity in this time. Here it is. Up one foot up. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good, good, good. Nice handstand walks. There we go. Remember on the beam, arms tall, high crown, high releve on our legs. We're trying to let our legs do not bend. Nice and straight. High releve walks all the way down. And then we're going to do our backwards walks, backwards bear walks. Boom, woo there we go. Walking it down. Good. Okay. Try and do the L position. Straight out horizontal as much as we can on our chair. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. All right. Up to do the good chin ups. Here we go. Hold it straight. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, good. Legs straight out horizontal. Here we go. Hold it 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. Black round work. It's a good bridge with the one leg up. Here it is. Pushing up, holding straight. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's it. Now the handstand with style. Kick, lift, tight feet together, split, standing back up. A good full turn. Up. Finish. A good cartwheel. Kick, lift, cartwheel, finish. And a run. And a jump. And a stick. And on up to finish at the end. You guys, good job on that Wednesday. All right. Tomorrow, Thursday, Davy Crockett is really coming out for real this time. Davy Crockett coming Thursday. All right. Look for him tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye-bye now.